had to get emotional because this one really hit for me. So it's been almost 10 years since my dad passed and I can't even explain what our relationship was like. Um, I didn't know him the way that I wanted to know him. And because he passed before I anticipated, planned, or expected, there's a level of regret there. There's a level of sorrow there. And so for me, I don't grieve his presence. I don't have like a whole lot of memories with him. So for me, my grieving process, I don't grieve his presence, um, but I do grieve the what ifs. I do grieve the we will never knows. I do grieve the plans that I had, um, the desires that I had. That's my grieving process. Um, a lot of times people grieve a person's presence they grieve the memories they grieve like they grieve those things and yes they do grieve like the what ifs the you never had the chance to the things never said um but because we didn't have much of a relationship my grief is <laughs> a lot of things unsaid and things i never knew and you know things I'll never have the opportunity to do, right? Um, in my prayer time on Monday, I I don't know what happened to me. <laughs> I don't know what happened to me, but I know that the Lord was poking at that because I don't deal with that. I just chalk it up to the game, keep going on about life, keep going on about, you know, any and everything. Like I just I just let it go. Um, I never really dealt with that, but in my prayer, he just kept saying, I love you, my daughter. You are my daughter. I love you. And my prayer that I wrote, the prayer that I wrote was help me Lord to be postured as your daughter. Help me to see you and to receive you as my father. I realized that my broken relationship with my earthly father has affected and infected the way that I see you. At my big age of 30, I'm realizing that I know I'm his daughter. I know he is my father. And yet there's still a part of me that is not settled in that. There's a part of me that I don't walk freely in that. He told me that I doubt my true identity. And I was like, what? What do you mean? Like, what do you mean I doubt my true identity? Like, I know, I know who I am. I know I'm your child. Like, what are you talking about? He basically told me you still hold back. <laughs> you still hold back because you don't see me. You trust me. But you don't trust me the way a daughter trusts her father. Even when I pray and when I'm feeling, you know, depleted when I'm feeling pain I don't trust him with that I realize that my relationship with my earthly father has affected and impacted what did I write affected and infected the way that I see my father in heaven I don't have full, full, complete, and total revelation on exactly what that means. I know that he's bringing it to the light for a reason. Um, so I guess we're about to take a journey, um, and I'm about to learn some things.